Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video. I've thought long and hard about what kind of content I would like to share with you. I've played around with different ideas, but decided on this one. I'm a Catholic, and I've been trying to be a better Catholic for a few years now, mainly by serving in the church service. But I must say, I envy the other people from different religions that would know the Bible from cover to cover. The idea of sitting down and reading the Bible is very daunting to me, but I think necessary. So I decided to do it slowly by reflecting on the Bible and the Catholic religion one day at a time. It might be the daily readings, which I would read as a whole, the readings, responsorial psalm, alleluia, and the gospel. Or it might be about the Blessed Virgin Mary or the Saint of the Day. It might be a post from the Catholic and Proud site. At the end of these readings, I would reflect on what I've read. Whatever it will be for that day, I hope that you will get something out of it. New knowledge and a better understanding of what the Catholic faith is all about. The opinions that I will be voicing out are mine alone, especially in the daily readings. I will only say how I understood what I've read, not as an authority, but as a lay person. I'm not pretending to be a master of the Catholic religion by any means, but I would like to learn more about God and the lives that He had touched. I thought in my journey, I'd bring you along with me. Whether you agree or not with what I'm going to say, drop me a line below. Let's have a conversation. But for now, have a listen. Today is September 8th the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. The first reading is from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 9, verse 13 to 18. Who can know God's counsel, or who can conceive what the Lord intends? For the deliberations of mortals are timid, and unsure are our plans. For the corruptible body burdens the soul, and the earthen shelter weighs down the mind that has many concerns. And scarce do we guess the things on earth, and what is within our grasp we find with difficulty. But when things are in heaven, who can search them out? Or whoever knew your counsel, except you had given wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit from on high? And thus were the paths of those on earth made straight. Responsorial Psalm The response is, In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of man, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning, they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening, wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart, Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. The second reading is from the letter to Philemon, verse 9 to 10 and 12 to 17. I, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus, urge you on behalf of my child Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself, so that he might serve me on your behalf, 
in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced, but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your face shine upon your servant and teach me your loss. Alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel is from Luke chapter 14, 25 to 33. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king, advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. We cannot be enslaved by material wealth and serve God at the same time. Of course, we need money to feed ourselves, to buy clothes, to cover our bodies, to maintain our homes and acquire things that would make our lives comfortable. We also need money to send our kids to a good school, to give them opportunities for the future. But we cannot forget God who gave all those things to us. We cannot forget that we also have an obligation to help others around us who are in need, to reach out to people and extend our help in whatever capacity that we can. And while doing so, we should also talk to them about the God that loves us so much that He gave us His only Son to give an, us an everlasting life. Let us not be enslaved by the riches on earth. We should strive to capture the riches only heaven can bring. That's all for today. Tell me what you think. Let's discuss it. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my future uploads. I hope you have a great day. And keep God always in your hearts. Peace to all.